Today, we have a 1991 Mitsubishi Minica Tapo, which was built during the JDM bubble era of the 90s and was intended as a small commuter car that could be easily parked in a city, but also carry a good amount of gear for a weekend trip away. Let's go through some features. It's a right-hand drive, five-speed manual car with just 58,000 kilometers, which translates to about 36,000 miles. It has these pretty awesome and very well-maintained 90s cloth seats and a pretty simple front console area. You have a few cubbies by the shifter for a phone and a wallet and basic amenities like air and a radio in the center. One of my favorite features of this car is the way that these air vents were designed. They twist and rotate and are very effective in directing and controlling the exact amount of airflow for the passenger. It has this tiny little glove box that's pretty shallow and really only meant for manuals and documentation for the car. This one, however, had some pretty cool little trinkets from Japan. There are some maintenance records and what looks to be a parking ticket. And I wanted to highlight this one specifically. It seems to be some kind of elderly driving safety book, which I found pretty comical. Here's what the inside looks like. Anyways, let's get back to the rest of the interior. The back seats are actually pretty spacious, and you could easily fit two large humans back here. In terms of headroom, there's plenty, and you could almost stand in this thing. And there are cages to keep stuff from hitting the windows, as well as storage nets for passengers to keep personal items. Overall, the underlying theme of this car is space, and most of that comes in the form of height. The engine is a 660cc inline 3 cylinder making 51 horsepower, and it has a 0 to 60 time of around 14 and a half seconds. Moving to the trunk, if you turn the key to the right, the glass pops up, and you have quick loading and unloading access. Otherwise, this tailgate opens sideways and you can load some pretty large objects back here. Here's a closer look at those cages, which, with a quick turn of these knobs, can be shifted or removed altogether. And if you didn't think there was enough storage in this car already, there's a compartment above the front seats and one under the floor panel in the trunk to store your breakdown necessities. And lastly, here's what the inside looks like with the back seats down. This is actually our other Minica, which I have a full review on on our TikTok page. I also want to give a special shout out to these wheels for being awesome, and to all you guys for the recent support. Thanks for watching.